It's hard to believe this used to be just a quiet little stream. The flood was so powerful it tore down a bridge in the village of Vigayon. Between 160 and 180 millimetres of rain fell in just five hours. The water inundated streets, washing away most things in its path. It started at 2 a.m. When it started, it was raining, raining, raining. Then one moment, we hear water rushing. And so I turned on the light, I got out of bed, and I dipped my feet in water. I go towards the kitchen and try opening the door, but it was impossible. I forced it to open, and then there was water up to my waist. It was really traumatizing because all our neighbors were in the same situation. It really happened so fast. There was like a wave that came towards our front door. The entire house was flooded. The waters rose to my thighs. With inundated homes cut off, helicopters were used to rescue trapped survivors. But as the waters receded, the fire brigade was also called in to assist on the ground. Officers moving door to door found the going tough. I will go there as soon as operational conditions allow. I do not want to interfere with the organization of the relief effort, but I will go there to provide all the support of the government and the state to those who are the victims of these floods and this climatic event. With many roads in the region cut off, schools are closed and people have been told to stay at home. Heavy rain is not unusual in the region at this time of year, but locals say homes being built on floodplains are making the problem worse. And that's an issue sure to be debated as the extent of the damage of this flood becomes clearer. Sarah Morris, TRT World.